get ready. Hey, yo, this is Dash, and obviously, you guys are here to see me season this brand new grill that I got for my wife. If you have not seen the assembly video, make sure you check it out over in that card there. So, out with the old, in with the new. All right, so I, uh, I'll insert some shots of this grill right now. Or as it is, because it'll never be as clean almost ever again. It's always the cleanest as soon as you open it up, even with all the fingerprints and smudges. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead, open it up. I'm going to try and make sure that I can isolate each burner and make sure that each burner is working properly before I turn it on like full bore just in case hey I'm, I want to put a stake on this particular burner and start this particular burner I have to make sure that the connection to the igniter is actually working and that one is not That one is. That one is. That one is. All right, so I'll turn that off. And now let's. Yeah, that could be a really dangerous situation if I don't make sure that this burner uh, gets or can ignite. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that, make sure it, it does ignite, and I'll bring you guys back in a moment. All right, so I just climbed under the grill and made sure that the connection, I traced the wire from the lead down to the box, the igniter box, and let's see. There we go. Maybe it was me. I don't know if I pushed in the... Yeah, that was my fault. I don't know if I pushed in the... You have to push in the knob and then turn it on. So, user error. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the grill on high for about a half an hour. I can see all five burners are on. As we'll turn that on too. So all five burners are on. All right, I'm gonna get this closed off and I'll be back out here and like I said about, eh, I don't think it'll take a half hour, but I'll give it 15, 20 minutes to get good and hot. Then I'll turn it off. I'll come out and spray it down with some Pam and we will then allow it to burn off again for another probably about 15, 20 minutes.
It's been 15, 20 minutes, and the whole thing is, you can see, the grill isn't smoking actively anymore. All of the surfaces are shiny, and they're not, like I said, it's not smoking anymore. The temperature right here is uh, almost at 650 degrees. It's showing 625 degrees. I'm going to turn all of the burners off. That is very important. You're using the aerosol, aerosol can or aerosol can. You don't want to have that open flame while you're spraying into the grill. This is Pam, like a grilling formula, but whatever Pam or non-stick spray you have and or can use, it will do the trick. You're gonna coat and cover. I'll wait. You're going to coat and cover all the services. is almost empty. I might have to go get a backup can. I'll be right back. Ah. Scene one, take two. This is some Crisco grill, uh, non-stick grill spray. So let's get down in here. And I really want to make sure that all of the surfaces, especially down at the bottom, are coated so that when things get down in there, you'll kind of be able to scrape them right off. Uh. So it's like, 85 degrees or so and the camera's not liking being out in the heat so it just overheated on me I don't know where exactly it got until but I came back out the first can of Pam spray that I had was it I used all of it and then I'm using some of this Crisco Grill Master non-stick spray grill spray so I sprayed down all of the surfaces kind of just went over them again with that one and lit all five burners I'm gonna let this sit here for another 15 20 minutes once it stops smoking that's when you know that you're ready to go and you can go ahead and cook on it. So I'll see you guys back in about 15, 20 minutes. So it's been another, actually it's been another half an hour. After doing the assembly and all those other things, I was pretty hot. So I went inside to kind of cool off a little bit. Woo! We, uh, we are getting good and seasoned in here. I think you guys get it at this point. Look, pardon the interruption. One of the questions I get asked all the time is how often do I need to season my grill? That is going to be up to you. I typically recommend or I typically re-season my grill after I do like a really deep cleaning. So 
So typically, the first time I use the grill over the or in the summer, if I let the grill sit all winter, unfortunately, my wife and I, we don't let this grill sit, or we don't let our grill sit all winter long. But if you go for a little while without using your grill and or you deep clean your grill, then you should re-season it. So hopefully that answers your question that you were about to leave in the comments. You can leave a comment down below and say something nice though. You know, leave a compliment down below. How about that? Just make sure you spray everything down. Now, I had a video talking about seasoning a new propane grill a few years ago. I can post that video there. The steps that I did there are pretty much the same exact steps that I did here today. If you just want to see me actually season the old grill, you can go ahead and watch that video. But at this point, I'm going to turn the burners off and I'm going to spray it one more time. Just any of the surfaces that I see that are, they don't have as much coating on them. So some of these, just the grates here in the front. And then I'm gonna wipe off. Ooh, shoot. There was a label on top of the side burner. I just closed it <laughs> while the burner was still hot. That label, she gone. She gone. <laughs> the label has left the chat. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna turn it back on, but there's some some uh, uh, of the grease here on the edges. I'm just gonna wipe that off just so it doesn't look unsightly. And I want to say thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please uh, care f feel free to subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, there's always, always, always um, more videos to see on my channel. Thank you guys so very much as always for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, bottom, baby. <laughs>